Welcome to Kids Church Online. Where's to come to join us? Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Kids Church Online. And this month we are going to be looking at the New Testament. We're going to be looking, going through the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But because there's so many of them, we're going to take two months to go through them. So I hope you guys enjoy the service. We are going to look at Matthew chapter 3 verses 1 to 12 where Jesus went to get baptized by John the Baptist. I hope you guys enjoy the service and I hope you guys are excited to finish the New Testament as much as I am. Kids Church in person will kick off on September 12th. First Steps Mom and Baby Group is every Tuesday morning at 11, kickoff date September 21st. Youth and Preteen kickoff Friday, September 17th from 6.30 to 8.30. Make sure to bring a tuning for dinner. If you're looking for volunteer hours, please contact Pastor Crystal at crystal at rpcchurch.ca. So kids, the big point for today is that John the Baptist prepares the way for Jesus. So let's please God today by obeying Him and doing the right thing. Okay kids, it's time to worship now, so let's get ready to sing. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. people were baptized it came to a pass that Jesus was also being baptized and praying the heaven was open 
Luke 3.21. Hey kids, so you may notice here that we have an interesting light source shining. Do you know what it is? Of course you do, it's a flashlight. Now what do you think the purpose of the flashlight is? Why would you use it? Well, you can have many uses for it. I might use it if I want to run in the dark, or take a walk outside at night time. Or maybe I want to go down into a cave or somewhere that does not get much light. Or perhaps I want to look for something and I need to try pointing out where it is. Or maybe the, or maybe the power goes out in the house, but I still need to see. There are a lot, a lot of great ways to use a flashlight. But let me ask you something. If I turn this flashlight around and shine it at myself, will the light still serve the purpose of showing me the way? Well, no, not very well if I want to use the light. I have to point at something away from me for me to be able to see it. You know, that's, that's what we want to do with our lives. I'll explain. We want to make sure that what we do is going to point back to God and His amazing work in our lives. Our goal should not be making ourselves look good, but showing people how important Jesus is. That's what John the Baptist did. Do you know who John the Baptist was? He was born just a few months before Jesus, and he had a special and extremely important job to get people ready for Jesus. He was a little bit interesting. For example, he wore itchy clothes made of camel's hair. And, how many of you had bugs for breakfast? Well, John ate locusts with honey. He was also a bit loud, and he wasn't afraid to tell people that they were doing wrong. He'd shout things at people sometimes, and was not always too popular because of this. However, those around him knew he was a significant person. In fact, they asked him if he was the Messiah that, had, that they had been waiting for. They wanted to know if he was a special person, and John was quick to point out that his role was different. He was there to prepare the way for Jesus. But Jesus was so great, John couldn't even untie his sandals. John pointed to Jesus and told people that he was the one they needed to follow. John got some attention, but his goal was always to show others that their attention to go to Jesus. And that's what we want to do. We want to live in a way that does not draw attention, and so that people notice there's something different and special about us. We don't want to keep that spotlight shining on us. Instead, we want to let people know that our lives are different because of Jesus. All that we say and do should bring more glory to God. We want to let others know how wonderful and full of love He is. We want to point to Jesus. We want to prepare our hearts for Him and other people's hearts as well. So as we continue with this kids' church, let's remember to live joyfully and share about Jesus by living our lives well. Jesus was baptized in Jordan River by his cousin, and John, he was 30 years old. Jesus was not baptized because he wanted to repent of everything he did wrong, but because he wanted to do everything that was right, he fulfilled all righteousness and his heavenly father was well pleased. What makes your parents happy? When you obey your parents or do good things, are they happy? Think of a time when you made your parents really happy. And for me, that would be when I do really, really good in school and I come home with an amazing test result. In today's Bible story, we're going to learn about a time that God was very happy because of something his son Jesus did. God sent Jesus to earth to do a very special work in his life. As he grew up, Jesus waited patiently until the right time to begin God's special work. Jesus was the Son of God, but he was also a human being living on this earth. He learned all of the things a human being needs to know. Jesus grew up in the town of Nazareth. His mother was Mary, and Mary's husband was Joseph. Joseph treated Jesus like he was his own son. Joseph was a carpenter, and he taught Jesus how to do carpentry work. Finally, when Jesus was 30 years old, the time came to do God's special work. Jesus left his hometown of Nazareth to begin his preaching ministry. The first place Jesus went to was the Jordan River, where his cousin, John, was preaching. 
Jesus knew that John was telling people that they needed to repent of their sins. They needed to have soft hearts towards God. Many people were being baptized. John the Baptist was baptizing people because they were sorry for the bad things they had done. John was so surprised when Jesus came to him and wanted to be baptized. How could this be? Jesus had never done bad things. Why should he be baptized? John said to Jesus, I should not baptize you. You should baptize me instead. But Jesus insisted that John baptize him. He explained to John that obeying God is not just about stopping all the bad things in your life. Obeying God is also about doing what is right. Being baptized was the right thing to do. And Jesus wanted everyone to know that he chose to do everything right and to follow God. So John took Jesus down into the Jordan River and baptized him. He put Jesus all the way under the water and then pulled him back up again. John had baptized many people, but this time something was very different. Something very special happened after Jesus was baptized. The clouds began to move apart and the sky opened up. The Holy Spirit came down out of heaven like a beautiful dove and landed on Jesus. The voice of God also came down from heaven. God said, this is my son and I love him. I am very pleased with him. Now, John knew for sure that Jesus was the son of God. Jesus was the Messiah who came to save the world. Jesus was king of the Jews. God loved the world so much that he had sent his son Jesus to the earth. Jesus made God very happy that day because he chose to do the right thing. Do you choose to do the right thing? What things do you do to make God happy? Today we learned about how John the Baptist prepares the way for Jesus. But what does preparing the way for Jesus mean? Well, it's actually just about following the ways of God and doing the right things. In John's case, it was to baptize people in the Jordan River, but for us, it can just be practical things in our lives, such as being nice to our friends or listening to our parents. In the, in the story we just heard, Jesus chose John to baptize him in the Jordan River too. And because of that, people were able to encounter the Holy Spirit there. You see, God blesses people that do the right thing and in a way, prepare the way for him by showing everyone else what God's love looks like. Kids, go grab your parents and answer these questions. Number one, who baptized Jesus? Number two, where was Jesus baptized? Number three, why was Jesus baptized? Number four, what symbol did God use to show that he was pleased with Jesus' baptism? And number five, how can you show Jesus to the people around you? Okay kids, it's time to pray, so let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Jesus, I pray that every kid listening today will be led by God in every point of their lives to make the right decision. I pray that every kid today will have someone like John the Baptist in their life to prepare them for doing your work. And I thank you for showing us how to be obedient to God and I pray that we'll be able to please you with our obedience. In Jesus' name, Amen. There you go. Bye, see you next week. Say bye. Bye, see you next week.